guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing this glowy springtime makeup look for you guys. Now this makeup look was kind of a struggle in parts. I tried some new products and they didn't all work the best together, but I liked how this makeup look eventually turned out. So if you want to see how I achieved this glowy spring makeup look, then just keep on watching. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you can join the fam bam and follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with me between videos and I'm doing a giveaway over there, so definitely head over and check it out. Now, enough talking, let's jump right into the video. All right, so I'm gonna jump right in. So I started off by moisturizing my face using the, this is the I Do Care Straight Radiance Moisturizing Gold Gel Cream. I have it on my face right now, and as you can see, I'm just kind of like glowing. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. You see it dripping, drip, drip. So I'm gonna prime my face using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I really like this primer. I haven't used it for a while. I recently just found it in my drawer. I love a good primer spray. For foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I've been loving this recently. I am in the shade 490. I mentioned this in my What's in My Travel Bag and I've just been obsessed. This is the only foundation I've been using recently. This is amazing. I can't wait to do a full review on this foundation for you guys, but I've really, really been liking it. And I'm going to be using that on a beauty blender. This beauty blender is dirty because I just used it, so don't judge it too hard. But I usually just use two pumps all over my face. So one pump on this side of my face. And I like to use a beauty blender literally just because it's more convenient. I've really been liking these e.l.f. beauty blenders. You can get them in a pack of two. And I bought the Morphe beauty blenders a while back and I was loving them. And then I found them finally in stores because they were sold out everywhere. And when I finally found them, they were a completely different consistency than the ones that I had purchased before. So I was really annoyed by that. So I haven't even been using them. I mean, they were like hard as a rock. So I've been using these elf ones because I like a soft booty blender. Now that the foundation is done, I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm going to be using two concealers today. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and the Fenty Beauty Concealer. This one is great just for my under eyes. I use this every day and this is lighter so it's just going to give my under eyes a more highlighted look because we're looking for a fresh, dewy, glowy look today because it's springtime. Then I'm going to go on top with the Fenty just really right in the corner. And I'm going to take my beauty sponge again and just blend that out. I'm going to use the other end. I'm also going to place this on my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow. Okay, now that I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, we are going to set everything in place using the Laura Mercy Translucent Setting Powder and my Real Techniques brush. My unibrow is getting a little out of hand here. It's about time for me to pluck that. Okay, now that we have that down, I go in with more powder. And I've really been liking this powder from Laura Mercier. It's the Secret Blurring Powder for your under eyes. Mine's kind of dirty because this is a white powder, but I just take it on my Real Techniques brush, really get it in there, and I just pat it in the hollows of my eyes. Like really just in this triangle area. And as you can see, it just really brightens that up. I don't drag, I just pat it right in the inner part of the eye. Now that I have set my under eyes, I'm going to go in with cream contour and I'm going to be using the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Mahogany. I used this before, but I think I was too dark for it. Um, it is more of a reddish shade, so I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out, but we're gonna give it a go. Actually, that shade is not too bad. I feel like a lot of the times I use my darker shades all year round when really I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> it's just a little harsher and this is a lot lighter and more subtle. Except when you do that. Woo! Woo! There's more for the hairline. Okay. 
Okay, now I am going to go in and powder my whole face. And for all over powder, I love to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is in the shade Medium Deep. This will forever be one of my favorite powders. It just is amazing. It works so well. It's just a great powder. And I like to put my face powder on on top of my cream contour. I don't know if people do it any other way, but it's a lot easier to blend out liquids on liquids. If you put powder on beforehand, it's going to be harder to blend. It's probably going to drag the product and pull it up. And I like a lot of coverage, so I don't like to do that. Now that the face is done, I'm going to move on to bronzer. And the bronzer that I have been obsessed with recently is the new Hoola bronzer. If I can get this little thing out. It's the new Hoola bronzer in the shade Caramel. This stuff is amazeballs. I've been using this like every day for the past couple weeks and I've been really liking it. I use it with this little brush and I just lightly blend it and you get a nice sharp line. See, isn't that just so pretty? And I also take it right down the nose because we're looking to be bronze today. Like my nose just looks a little sun-kissed. It looks, it looks like if my nose were to get sun, that's how my nose would look. Obviously, I'm not gonna leave my nose like this, but the shade, it's just sun-kissed. They got it really right. Like this is how my face would look if I were tanned. <laughs> so great job Hula Bronzer. I've really, really been liking it. I'm going to be trying out the Kevin Aquan. These are the Emphasize Eye Design palettes. They are very pretty. I heard Tati talk about them. And I have two in the shade Unblinking and Focused. And Focused is this very pretty like coppery you have this cream foil eyeshadow in here and then unblinking oh no no look at the shadow it must be living right <laughs> if that didn't crack and then you have this is unblinking very pretty as you can see you have these foiled cream foil shadows they're both very pretty but i think i'm going to use the focused palette with the foiled shadow from the other palette so I'll list them both down below so I'm going to start off by using this shade right here and I'm just going to take that on a morphe m433 brush and buff that into my crease I love Kevin Aquan products I love the contour palette so I'm excited to try this and I just realized that I haven't done my brows yet so that's not really ideal these blend out really well really really well and I love how compact this is now I'm going to take the darkest shade right here in the corner pack that on the outer corner and in a V formation actually I'm going to pack this all over the lid it does have a good amount of fallout can you hear my washing machine? <laughs> now I am going to take this white shade right here in the corner and I'm going to place that in the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to be using a MAC. This is a MAC 217 brush. And I'm going to use this as the base for a shimmery shadow. Now I'm going to take this cream shadow, this is in the shade 24 karat gold, which is exactly what it looks like, and I am going to place this all over the lid. Oh, this is so pretty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with this beautiful gold shade in this palette, and I am just going to pack that right on top
You definitely need to tap off the excess of these. And now I'm going to go back in with that transition shade that we originally started with. And now I'm going to blend out the edges. I used my Benefit um, Brow Wiz on the brows, my favorite brow product of all time. And just to set everything in place, I'm going to be using the Almay Brow Styler. I've never tried this before. That product's not too bad. Um, very bushy. Very bushy. And I'm going to take this dark shade and I'm going to work it on my lower lash line. I'm going to make sure I keep it really close to the lash line. I am going to take some Laura Mercier translucent powder and brush away any fallout. I think this look needs some liner, so I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick Liner, which has been one of my favorites recently. It's going to be a dramatic wing, apparently. I think it's the fact that the um, cream liner is just like catching because I've never had problems with this liner until today. Do you see what's happening? It's like it's catching on the shadow and it's not making a crisp line. Uh, uh. I honestly think that that's as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, so learn from me and if you buy this palette and have tried to use eyeliner on it, you're gonna wanna use something that has that's more liquidy, so like a, of course I don't know where my Wet n Wild liquid liner is, but you're gonna wanna use something like that. If you use something that's drier like this, it's just going to tug and pull and you're going to have a terrible time, like I just did. I mean, that took me so long to do. <laughs> now that we are moving on from that, I am going to do move on to lips, and for lips, I'm gonna start off by using the plumping, the new, Buxom Plumping Lip Stains. They just sent these to me. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes. These are the Demi Wispies. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh my gosh, this liner, it's so bad. The lashes are on, and in an attempt to try to salvage this hot mess express i am going to try to find a liquid liner okay so i found a wet and wild mega liner and i'm going to oh, is this dried up oh wow like this has so much potential so much potential so much freak, so much freaking potential Ugh. okay we're not giving up we're gonna try the feline flicks liner this seems to be a little juicier Oh, that looks better. Woo! Okay, that is a little better. I will take it. Now for mascara to blend everything together, I'm going to be using the new Buxom. This is the Buxom Blackest Black Buxom Mascara. I will find it and link it down for you guys if you're interested. And because I'm feeling sassy today, I'm going to take the, this is the Glossier Play Color Slide Liquid, this isn't liquid liner, I don't want to see liquid liner for a while. I'm going to take this on my lower lash line. On my waterline. Now for highlight, I'm going to take this gold shade right here and pop it right on the corner of my lower lash line. Now for highlight, I'm going to be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette for blush and for highlight. And if you guys, this is limited edition, I believe. And if you guys can't get your hands on it, I feel like a lot of the Becca palettes all look the same. They have similar shades, no shade, <laughs> okay? I'm not trying to throw shades. I'm just saying like they have a lot of similar palettes that come out, the Chloe Malika palette. 
and the Chrissy Teigen palette I feel like all had very similar shades so don't feel like you can't get this palette I'm just gonna be taking the two deepest shades and just really warming up the cheeks now for highlight I am going to be using the same palette and I'm going to be taking champagne pop and Prosecco pop and just placing that right on the high points of the cheeks. I feel like I haven't been like really greasing my face up with highlight recently. I kind of gave that up for a minute, but now I'm back. And because I'm feeling extra today, I am going to take the Hangover RX primer that we used in the beginning spray down my face and then I'm going to add more highlight and I'm going to take two of these shades I'm going to take Razzle Rose and Nearly Nude and I'm going to place Razzle Rose all over and then in the center I am going to place this nude shade And on top, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Champagne Glam Lip Gloss. All right, guys, I think that that's enough for me. I may or may not upload this, I'm not really sure because honestly, this is a, a struggle. If I do upload it, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the realness, the chaoticness of filming this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new upload. If you wanna see another first impressions makeup video, check this one out right here. And if you wanna see a hair video, check out my one brand full check this hair video out so don't forget to subscribe right down here thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye guys